Okay, so I got another uh, 25 British Lard Scent uh, bag that I pulled out of my giant lot of 100. Pull out another 25 to kind of go through video with you guys. I'm just trying to get camera position in a second. So we got the 1962, a little bit older one, 1920. That's actually in not too horrible shape. But uh, since last time I did one of these, I did a little research on them. And uh, I found out a little like, kind of like stuff to look for, things like that. And them. Where's this one? 1903? 1908. So, them's oldest so far. It's actually in. Uh, in shape, but I got some notes, just kind of like some stuff to look for dates. So you want to look for just like key dates without anything special on them. You want to look for 1869, uh, 1882, or 08. No, that was a little more slick. You want to look for 1933, a 1952, and a 1954, just kind of like dates, not so much worrying about. Like some that would have a variety on them. There are some other ones, and I mean, just you know, twenty minute Google search, you'd find information on them. So it's not like really, these aren't hard to find information on. That's one reason I kind of like them is if you can find some pretty cool stuff, like old coins that are really common. Until that's a twenty or twenty eight. That's a 28. Okay. But you can find some pretty old coins that are full of history and everything, you know. And, you know, they're pretty old. They're pretty neat. And they're really not that expensive. Uh, like, I, I was looking at prices and stuff on them. And, like, you get some expensive ones around, like, 20 bucks, but I mean, 20 bucks on a coin is still not too horrible. I mean, especially because it's going to be some of the older, a little bit rarer ones. But I mean, I think these, I think I paid like 50 something cents a piece, and they're all, I mean, there's been a pretty good variety of dates and things I think there has been so I mean yeah I get a lot from the 60s like this one but you figure in the 60s they were making these things you know hundreds of thousands at a time so you know there's gonna be like US coinage they're old they're newer so there's gonna be more of them there's gonna be less circulated in the ground versus you know ones like these from 1908 uh, had pretty good. I got a couple 08s. We got a 12, 16, and an 11, 15, 15, and another 16. Uh, a couple from the 20s, 36, 39, a couple 40s. I mean, pretty good stack of uh, 60s. But I mean, if you were going to resell these or anything, you know, you paid 50 cents, you sell these dollar piece, people pay for them. So, you know, just something kind of, I think is neat. Uh, I just kind of, you know, share this information with you guys. But, uh, I mean, on these coins, the history on them, I just think is neat. There have been a bunch of different rulers with you guys. I mean, they've been around since 1801, and they were made into the 70s. So there's been George III, IV, William IV, Queen Victoria, George V, George VI, and Elizabeth II, which she was the last one. Depicted on them, she's still on a lot of them. What do you think? I mean, 1908. Uh, which one is this? Uh, okay, so I don't, I don't know. I don't know all the different ones or anything like that. But I mean, you figure 1908, these things had already been around 100 years. And, you know, you get around to 1968. 
you know, 150 something years, 160, um, crap, uh, 60, I think the last main 67, so you figure 67 to 1801, that's very close to, uh, yeah, I don't know, it's over 150 years. But uh, that's it on this one. Hope you guys remember to like, share, subscribe, and tune back in. And we'll do a couple more hunts and get through the 100 lot bag.